afternoon. My name is Tara Vines. I'm with Rock New York. I stand here today with my sisters in solidarity. I have been in this industry for over 20 years and I am a victim of sexual harassment. I'm a mother too and I have to depend on tips to support my family. As a server, I experienced sexual harassment from my manager. I was told to shorten my skirt and open my blouse and show cleavage. Just to make extra tips to take home to feed my kids. That is unacceptable. So today, we stand in solidarity to bring one fair wage. My name is Tiffany Kirk from Houston, Texas. This is Heather McIntosh from Portland, Maine. Collectively, we have over 30 years of serving and bartending experience, and we're here to stand in solidarity with Rock United. Powerless, defenseless, helpless. How will you react when your daughter comes home in tears because a customer groped her, she refused, and was left with nothing, zero, no tip? At 2.13 an hour in Texas, this is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah. It's time we change the rhetoric to capable, defiant, and ambitious. Reject the status quo. This is our fight, and it's time to resist. Watch out, Donald, because we're about to grab you by the policy. At 16, my boss followed me into the walk-in freezer. He wouldn't let me get by him. When I told my manager's daughter, she told me to watch out for him because he liked young girls. At 18, I started bartending. On my first day, the owner called me into his office. He said that he could help me pay for college if I gave him a blowjob. When I refused, I was fired. At 30, I was locked in the bar where I worked by the general manager and assaulted by the vice president of the hotel group. Unknown to me, he was told he could have anything he wanted, including me. In Maine, we just won one fair wage. Woo! The elimination of the lower, the lower wage for tipped workers. That means women in Maine will no longer have to endure sexual harassment because now we will no longer have to rely on tips to feed our families. We, we demand one fair wage everywhere. For our daughters, for our sisters, for our co-workers, and for our mothers. How's it going, interne intersectional feminists? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Juliana Gonzalez. I am with Rock Chicago. Yeah. Chicago! Um, I am here to tell you that working for tips normalizes sexual assault and sexual abuse and I'm sick of it. Hi, my name is Shanti, I'm from Rock, Chicago. And I too, I too have been a victim of sexual harassment at the workplace. Hi everyone, how y'all feeling? I'm glad to see all the women in the place. My name is Nataki Rose and I've been a restaurant worker for over 10 years now in the city of Chicago. Okay, Chicago. I have worked for tips over 10 years now. I have experienced sexual harassment, sexual discrimination, feeling gropy, and one time I had even had made $150 in tips. And I was sexually assaulted. And I still took the money to help me and my son, because I'm a single mom. And so one thing about this, what my son doesn't realize and what a lot of our families doesn't realize that we do an unseen sacrifice to help them. And we carry them on our backs. And we do this work because we love this work, right? So we must stay united in solidarity. 